Okay, in the last video I showed you um, um, something about MS settings, you know, <coughs> the mass precision and baseline correction. Um, like I said, uh, this peak, um, if I do a library search, you know, it shows Symmetrin. But uh, obviously, uh, the NIST uh, hit itself does not show any. Uh, 184 so that means you know there's a co-eluting peak and uh, you know in one of the earlier videos uh, I had extracted uh, 184 and 213 so let me do that again mm. so let me extract ion chromatogram and 213 okay and let me extract 184 184 okay so let me just make this window a bit bigger um, so it has extracted now let me um, do uh, let me make it overlaid uh, but let me let me let me do this auto scale okay there you go and uh, let me mm, okay stacked so you can clearly see that uh, you know like 213 so this is uh, 184 this is 213 and this is uh, the tick the total line chromatogram right so if I so if I click on 184 click it okay and I do a library search it shows me symmetry again but I know for sure it is not right and, um, so let me do this let me let me subtract symmetry out of this apex if I can let me try so first of all I will do just uh, the spectrum bunch as one and uh, let's see uh, let me do this let me go to the layout okay and uh, let me choose this the time spectra tool so this is something new right time spectra tool so when I choose this and um, then you'll get this funny looking uh, I don't know what it is <laughs> some kind of some kind of uh, looks like an um, electric lightning or something like that bolt or something like that so let me do that and it will when I do that you know it will show me uh, on the mass spectra pane you know the mass spectra for that point and now let me do a baseline correction tool okay so so basically what I'm trying to do is subtract you know the uh, mass spectra you know right next to it not you know so that you know it hopefully subtracts out uh, the symmetry okay so if I do baseline correction and I say I want to subtract this okay there you go and uh, that looks you know like it has subtracted 213 almost completely right hmm. and now let me do a library search and find a library okay there you go F fubri diazol so you know that seems uh, plausible right so you know it has all the major peaks which are due to fu uh, fubri diazol so um, so there you have it. So uh, like, uh, so I've shown you how to subtract, uh, do a, a sort of manual subtraction of uh, different mass spectra. You know, because in this case, uh, you, you, like if you remember, you know we were getting uh, co evolution uh, co eluting peaks, right? So these peaks are so near each other that they show up as just one peak in the tick. So to show you what I w what I was talking about is I go to the chromatogram and I say overlay okay so this is your um, 
tick the pink one the pink trace and uh, you know the black trace is the, the peak due to fibrodiazole and and the blue one is because of, uh, is due to the um cymetrin cymetrin so um so uh, yeah that's it uh, that's what i wanted to show the use of this time spectra tool and the baseline correction tool how how you can manually subtract uh you know different spectra okay